Okay, let's talk about the presets panel real quick. You can tap this digital display up here to get here, and then you can lower this to expose more controls. You've got, you can sort your presets several different ways. You can see all your presets at once this way, or you can see presets categorized by certain characteristics like keys and electric pianos and pads and brass orchestra, plux bell, bass, lead, arp, and even alphabetical and your favorites. You can star something and it will be added to your favorites. Rearrange the presets within certain banks by hitting reorder and you can just drag and drop and you can of course hit this to delete one. And when you're done, hit I'm done and your presets will be rearranged. You can actually move presets between banks by hitting this edit button and selecting a different bank, like maybe bank B. You can also change what it is. Maybe you want this to be brass now. You'll notice that the preset is now in a different bank. And if you come up here to brass, it should also be in a different category. Here's a tip. When you're making new presets, easy to find one that you like and make a copy. So let's say you like this. Just hit this copy button, and then now you've got a new copy that you can start with and edit. Another quick way to make a copy. Let's say you love this Synthwave Poly preset, but you wanna change it up a little bit. Hit the save button and change the name. Hit save, and it actually makes a copy for you. So you're not overwriting your original, you've got this new one now that you can start with. Some more tips. You can actually export an entire bank at once. So let's say you have like a hundred awesome presets you made. You can come out here, hit this export button and you can copy to iCloud or Dropbox. And then you could actually share it with a friend and they can import it from Dropbox or iCloud. Typically if you have presets, it's easier to copy them to your own iCloud and then import them. This will recognize whether it's a bank or just a single preset. And this, of course, will just export a single preset. This will export a bank. Now, when you come down to these extra presets, you have another icon that appears. Rename these banks and even delete them. Now, be careful with those. If you accidentally take this Red Sky Lullaby bank and delete it, well, then it's gone. And then you'll have to email me and I'll have to send you another copy. You can always get all these banks back by deleting D1 from your iPad and reinstalling it. But of course, when you do that, you'll wanna export your user bank so that you don't lose any presets. And I would recommend exporting your user bank from time to time anyways, because iOS in general, you know it can have problems and you don't wanna lose your work. Some more tips. You can actually edit this text, tap in it, and you can change it. That's just what I write on my presets. You can write something else, you know, insert your own name here. And then this text appears here. You can see a little bit of this and you can expand it to see more. And of course you can add new banks, come here, rename it my awesome bank. And then you can export that or do whatever you want with it. You know, the first thing you might realize when you use D1 is that there's so many presets. I gotta tell you, the sound designers have done such a great job that you can get down here to even in, you know, the hundreds and these presets still sound pretty awesome. You can dive in here and find some hidden gems that can be used as a starting place for your own sounds or maybe you'll discover some sounds that people haven't got to. So I would definitely recommend starting at the end of these banks and moving backwards. Undiscovered awesome sounds. Oh my gosh. Here we are, you know, 98 presets in and things still sound pretty, pretty cool. You may be wondering what this audio bus bank is. There's an online forum called the audio bus forum, which is thousands and thousands of iOS musicians. They all go and hang out. You should check it out. Google audio bus forum. 
And they came together and spent a month making different presets. I think there's five or six different people in here. So BB, that's Bryce Beasley. FB, that's Fruit Bats. And so on. So they all have different styles, but they're all really good. You know, if you're having trouble like coming up with stuff, hit these dice and then you're sure to find something amazing. There's so many different presets that hitting this dice and then using that as a starting place is a great way to make presets and copy it and go to work. All right, that wraps up the preset panel. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah,